And there is another rocket. Can this go out? Nomar Garcia Para. Best game of the year for Nomar. Wow. How's it going, y'all? Welcome back to our Backyard Baseball 2003 Tampa Bay Devil Rays season playthrough. And y'all, I've been praying. I've been praying over this team, y'all. We need a change. Now listen, I can't complain too much because a win is a win. And we are 9-0 on the season. We are absolutely killing it. But if you've been watching this series following these last few weeks, you'll see that we are in a bit of a rut. As you can see, we tore through our, all of our divisional opponents, winning games by scores of 16-0, 14-1, 20-0. -to but we have fallen off drastically in terms of scoring over these last few weeks. 1-0 win over the Mariners, 3-0 win over the Athletics, and just 1-0 last week against the Tigers. And basically, we just have not been able to capitalize off players in scoring position. Last week against the Tigers, we really did not have any problems getting guys on base but there were at least four instances where we had a man on third in direct scoring position and we choked it away we just cannot do that we can't have these games where we get you know 13 14 hits with our players who are so talented and we cannot send them home we cannot continue to rely solely on our mvp randy johnson he's a great pitcher and he's been doing so well but we can't rely on him to win every single game and this is going to be especially true in this game we've got coming up today we are playing the monsters and they are seven and two on the season they are without question the best team that we have faced so far in terms of their record at least and they have a very very good pitcher brenda markhart and that has really been the common denominator with with these uh, recent games is that the reason why these games are so close we're not able to get as many hits is because we are finally facing some really really good pitchers and that has been consistent with these most recent games like last week i can't remember his name i think his name is ray tran he was the pitcher for the tigers we played them last week he was pitching all corners of the strike zone high and inside low and inside high and outside low and outside just putting the ball where our bats could not reach and that's why they were able to keep us off base for most of the game and why hits were very difficult to come by against the tigers so we really need to clean this up we need to buckle down we're in their house cement gardens let's get into this game y'all and that is going to be a pop fly for pete their catcher does not get under it and pete reaches all right we're going to have pete stealing basically whenever ichiro and pete are on base we're going to have him steal No excuse not to take advantage of their speed. This is going to be a fly ball. Their fielder is going to drop it, but their center fielder picks it up, and Pete has to race back to first. Good play by the center fielder. And there's a line drive right down the first baseline. It's going to get past the first baseman. We're going to send Pablo, pardon me, we're going to send Pete to third. Bad throw from their right fielder, and we're going to send Pete home. There's an RBI. That's how we want to start things off. Score early, score quickly. And there is a pop fly from Ken Griffey Jr. Probably got under that too quickly. And this is going to be a double play. So they have a batting power up. So we got to watch out for that. Obviously this team is 7-2. and two, So they're not just good on defense. They've got some great hitters. And there is a line out. Amir is right there. He drops it. Ichiro has to go get it. And that's their first hit of the day. We have some confusion, and we end up getting Annie Fraser out. Hey, an out's an out. There is a line drive. Nomar is under. He's been playing very well. So this is Claudia v Villarta is her last name, and she's our center fielder, and she is the best player on this team. Her stats are insane, and we got to make sure she does not get her bat on the ball. And that is a strikeout. Great message to send right there. Strike out their best player to end the inning, and we are right back up. And that is going to be a high fly ball. Can Claudia get under that? Looks like she will. There's a first out. And that is a line drive into left field. And that's another out. Another fly out, guys. And there's another line out. Will this go over the head of their center fielder? Pardon me. It drops right next to her. And we finally get another hit. Ah, but that is a pop fly from Amir Khan. It is high in the air right to Claudia. She will probably get this and another quick inning. I will say, I don't know if something has changed with the difficulty now that we're done with our division opponents. Maybe they make it easier so it's easier to win your division. This does feel more like real baseball, to be honest, where hits are harder to come by. They're more important. Uh, you know, it's you can't always rely on, you know, cheese plays. 
Um, it feels more realistic, actually, like more like a real baseball simulation where, you know, you can't go five for five with your best hitters every single game. Runs definitely f are starting to feel more rewarding. Like with that RBI with Pablo in the first inning, I was like, felt like a relief, like a real baseball play. That's going to be a pop fly. Nomar's going to get under this. But he drops it. So far, we have not seen their batting power up. Keisha throws it. It is not in time. Good steal. And there it is right there. It is an undergrounder. This could turn into an RBI. It is up by Ichiro, and this is going to score a run. We can get her out, but it doesn't change the fact that they scored. We got a tie ball game. That is the first run scored against us in, I think, four weeks. So pretty good streak on defense, but we got to go up there and get some hits now. That's it. There it is right there. First strikeout of the game for Brenda. And that's a two strikeouts in a row for Brenda. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if I'm swinging too early or too soon, but we're just not able to get these balls that are outside the strike zone. And that is a rounder right to the pitcher. Ichiro does not have the speed to get there. One, two, three inning from the Monsters. There's a grounder right there. Fast, but Amir gets it, throws it to Ahmed. One out. And Jillian Payne lays down a bunt. Randy's right under it. Gets it. Second out. And that is a strikeout for Randy Johnson. Got her looking low and outside. She had an open stance. Had to go for that. There we go. And that is a high fly ball from Pablo. That could hit the bricks. Claudia is under it. She gets it. Flips it right to second. Great throw in. Like I said, she's the best player. But Pablo gets a double. Second hit of the game for him. Ken Griffey Jr. has not been hitting well lately. Still leads the league in homers, though. That is a pop fly. We get so many of those. Deep to center field. Cloudy's going to get under this, and Ken Griffey Jr.'s pitching woes continue. Pardon me, hitting. Ahmed Khan has also not been hitting well. All of our power hitters, they're starting to fall silent lately. There is a pop fly right there. Probably should not have gone for that. I don't know what's going on with this team. And that is a strikeout from Brenda. Jeez. That is a line drive. Pete's under it, and he gets it. I thought he was going to bounce, and he'd have to throw it first, but great play by him. Or let's start implementing some of these power-up pitches. Zigzag low and inside, and she gets it on a grounder. Ackman gets it. Second out. All right, two outs. Let's try and bury another zigzag in there. Third strike out of the game from Randy Johnson. Knew that before they even called it. Let's get back to bat and try to figure something out. And there's a big power hit from Nomar. That's the best hit we've seen from him. If this is an open fence, that would probably be a home run. Can this turn into a triple? Claudia is stuck by the uh, the dumpster. This could be an inside the park home run from Nomar Garcia Parr. That will be his first on the season. There we go. We finally break the stalemate. 2-1 Devil Rays. And there's some power from Amir, but this is not as long as that last hit. Claudia's going to get under that, looks like. First out. Ooh, there's some power from Randy, but that goes foul, unfortunately. Would have been great to see him get another home run like that. There is a grounder, Randy. It is bouncing. The first baseman moves off base. I don't know what she's doing. Will the throw get there in time? And Randy is safe, just barely. Wow, that was so far outside and came back in. She's pitching a good game. All right, Ichiro, I'm very worried that Randy is too slow, so we're going to need a good hit from Ichiro here. And... It's a short pop fly. Can the throw get to second base in time? Their catcher has a great arm, and uh, we score one. At least there's that. There's a soft grounder, and this could reach. Wow. Two good hits from their catcher so far. Although he tries to go for it. He's got good speed, and but that but his uh, boldness costs him there. One out. I would definitely like to get some revenge on Brenda here for giving us fits from the mound. Can we strike her out? We do! Fourth of the game for Randy. Oh no, that is bad news. Pablo, get under that. And that could be a ground rule double or inside the park home run. This could be a bad news and this could tie the game. No, they call that a ground rule double, thankfully. Oh boy. Alright, can the big free send her back to the dugout? Randy Johnson. Strikeout number five on the day. Let's go. Pablo Sanchez and Nomar, it seems, are the only two players hitting well today. Nomar, I mean, uh, pa pardon me, Pablo is two for two. There's a quick grounder right there. 
Second baseman's under it. Throw will reach. Pablo gets gets out for the first time today. So many of our power hitters are not doing well right now. There's a line drive. Ken Griffey Jr. He might have been not too great recently in these recent games, but ninth home run on the season. He still cranks those dingers. Let's go. All right, Ken Griffey Jr. finally woke up. Let's see if Aquaman can do something here. There's a line drive rocket from Ahmed. He could finally reach. Good throw in, but it's not uh, good enough. All right. Got another hit. Only one out. There is a grounder from Keisha Phillips. This could potentially be a double play. She reaches, but Ahmed is out. Here comes Nomar. He's been playing well recently. One of the few players on our team who has. And there is another rocket. Can this go out? Nomar Garcia Para. Best game of the year for Nomar. Wow, that came out of nowhere, and we extend our lead 5-1. to one. Thank you, Nomar. Wow, I'm impressed. They finally substitute their pitcher for this last out, and it looks like they're going to get what they wished for. All right, 5-1, guys. Let's preserve this. There is a hit, but Pablo should be under this. Good catch. We're pulling out all the stops here, guys. I don't feel bad cheesing with these uh, with these power-ups. The game's been bad to me lately. This is, this is payback. Can we strike her out with the elevator? Yes, we do. Six on the game for Randy Johnson. There is a grounder. Randy picks it up, throws it to Ahmed, and we are out of here. 5-1 victory over the Monsters. All right, so let's check out the stats on this game. Definitely better than our other recent performances. MVP of the game, the game ball, I should say, definitely goes to Nomar Garcia Parr, who comes out of nowhere to have his best performance of the season by far. Three for three. Uh, definitely the best performance uh, in this game, like by a long shot. Two home runs, one inside the park, and one outside the park to score himself and Keisha Phillips. That was the nail in the coffin for the Monsters. A great hit. He had three RBIs. Pablo Sanchez had the single to uh, start us off. Uh, he scored. Pete scored. And uh, King Griffey Jr. also had a solo home run. So he hasn't been hitting well lately, but it's good to see him on pace to uh, continue his reign as the home run king so far in this season. Randy Johnson did his thing. 48 pitches thrown, six strikeouts. Comfortable. No problems with him so far. Next week, we are playing the Mets, and they are a decent team as well. They are 6-4, and four, so we got to keep this energy up. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope it was a bit of a return to form. It was good to finally crank some dingers and get out of this slump a little bit. Hope to see you guys next week. Peace.